James Adams of TriStateFootball.com here with Rob Stoll, head coach of the Turpin Spartans. Coach, you guys were down 16-7, and it looked like all was lost when you fumbled down in the red zone. But you guys fought back and won. How were you able to keep your team together in that tough spot? Defense. Our defense came up big. I thought the, I, I felt a lot of confidence in our defense, and they got out there, and when they stopped them, um, you know, I felt like we still had a chance. Defense played amazing in the first half. What I counted was five huge plays, a sack, a fumble recovery, and three interceptions. They really cut what is supposed to be one of the top Division II quarterbacks from playing well tonight. Yeah. Talk about that first half effort that was outstanding, quite frankly. Well, Kings is really, really talented. I mean, they've got speed at the wide receivers. They've got speed at the tailback. Their line's huge. They've got a big old quarterback. So we were worried about, obviously, stopping them. But I felt also like we had a, a marquee defense, and I think our defense showed that tonight. Tyler Necht is uh, certainly – got the running ability, he's got the passing ability. Do you guys do anything different game planning against him than you do against any other quarterback? Well, we definitely wanted to affect him and affect the run. So, of course, you know, we, we, he was the key. We felt like if we could stop him, we had, had a chance, absolutely. Your quarterback, on the other hand, the senior, has been around through the battles. He looked awful poised in that late drive. What do you have to say about your boy and your quarterback, <laughs> Ben Stoll? Well, I, I felt the same way. I felt like he was poised. He was reading the field. That that last pass there at the end, you know, he it, it, it showed all those intangibles. He did an awesome job. You guys were undefeated, as was Kings coming into this. This was the first ECC game. How big is it to get that first win and to knock off one of the big dogs in the conference? Well, it's big because I think our conference is so balanced. You know, I... For a team this year in this conference to go unbeaten, it's going to be just one of those remarkable things. So next week we got Glen Esty. They're incredible. So we'll, we'll enjoy this victory and uh, get ready for them on Monday. Luke Bohenick has two big touchdowns in the fourth quarter, one to get you within two and then one to take the lead. Talk about his running down the stretch. He gets stronger as the game goes on. He gets stronger. He's a fantastic tailback. So, yeah, he came up big. One of those first-half interceptions was Griffin Durso. Then he has the last play of the game. <laughs> yeah. He might be the smallest kid in greater Cincinnati on the football field who made maybe the biggest play of the night, an interception at the goal line when Kings was about ready to score. Talk about him, not just that play, but just the way he plays bigger than he certainly is. I'll tell you what, that's exactly it. I mean, he just plays, you know, like he's six foot five. But he's a fantastic, he's got a lion's heart. He's a wonderful football player. Was there any doubt they were going to try to throw at him in that last play of the game? No. In fact, we were screaming to try to get a backer out of the box to jam seven because when we saw the matchup, we knew exactly where they were going. So we were screaming, screaming, screaming to try to get help, but it didn't come, and, and Durst stepped up and made a great play. Made a great play on that one. Went up the elevator shaft to make the pick. Yep. You go to 4-0. Oh, how do you guys keep this ball rolling? We just keep doing the, the little things in practice. It, it all breaks down. If you got a good practice, you got a chance. Coach Rob Stoll, great win tonight. Great come from behind victory. Thank you.